Hello, my name is Danny Layton. I'm the executive chef of an 801 bedroom hotel in London. It's um, the Tower Hotel, but just by Tower Bridge. In charge of 11 food and beverage outlets. Today I'll be cooking for you um, Ile de Flontante. Um, it's a classic Escoffier dish. Cut it first. All we need is some sugar, some egg yolks, some whole milk, not skimmed or anything like that. Um, we have a vanilla pod, but in this instance I'll be using some vanilla extract purely because it's there, it's easy, um, save scraping it out and everything like that. Okay, so let's get going. So first thing I need to do, obviously half a litre of milk, which we're going to stick on the stove. We're going to bring that up to a light simmer, um, just on the point of boil. If you overboil it, it's all going to reduce down and everything. It just messes up all your ingredients, etc. When that's on the, on the boil, we're going to then... Um, the, lamp, the vanilla essence into the milk as well. Okay, so while that's coming up to the boil, what I need to do now is just whisk up the egg yolks and the sugar. Okay, so it just needs to be creamed lightly. Um, don't need to get any air into it or anything like that. And then when that's all mixed together beautifully, what we'll do is we'll add the boiling milk to it. Okay, so as you can see, the egg yolks is a nice light colour now that it's been whisked in. The milk is just coming up to the simmer now. So what I'll do, as soon as that comes up, I'll then carefully pour that into the egg yolks while it's still being mixed. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, it's a nice smooth mixture. If your milk's hot enough, you don't usually need to add it back into the boil, but I shall. So basically, you can go back into the same pan. turn it to the heat. This is where you've got to be very very careful because if you then overheat it this is where you get the troubles and it all splits and everything. Okay so gently gently and say so just keep it stirred so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Now you've got that extra protein in with the eggs it's liable to stick. So it'll take about a minute. Okay so there we have it. Okay so it's just thickened slightly. What you've got to do now you take it back off the heat Stick it into your bowl, let it cool down quite quickly, so you could possibly stick it into um, some cold water first and then just stick the bowl into the fridge. So while we're doing that, we come to, if you like, the trickier part of the job, which is the egg whites. With the egg whites, what you need to do is try and make sure all the fat is removed. So when you're separating the egg yolks, if, it, if the yolk happens to break, then whatever you do, start again, do one egg at a time. If you've got the tiniest little bit of fat in the egg white, so just stop it um, bulking up quite as much. What I always do is squeeze out a lemon into the bowl first, just to get rid of the fat, or just use some boiling water, pour it in, just leave it a couple of minutes and dip it out. That makes sure there's all traces of any fat that's gone. What we need to do first is stick in the egg whites, um, and then you start to whisk those up. You whisk those up by about half, then you add the sugar and carry on whisking until you get a soft peak. I'll start to do that now. Okay, so what we have there now is some nice delicate little peaks like this, so quite a firm meringue. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is what we call a quenelle. Okay, so we're going to get two spoons and between the two spoons you just create an egg, egg shape. Okay, just by moving it from one spoon to the other. Okay, just like so. Um, what I'm going to do then is to create the lemon meringue, like I said before. So get a small teaspoon, just create a small space in the centre of it. And what I'll do is I will drop just a tiny little piece of lemon curd into the mixture as well. Make sure that's right in the middle. And we'll pick up a little bit more meringue. 
and then just continue the way we were, just moving it from spoon to spoon until it's completely covered and the meringue is then in the middle. Okay, so you need to do that six times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on some silicon paper, parchment paper, and then that just makes it a little bit easier just to pick it up, drop it into the water to poach. Okay. Okay, so the water's boiling. We have all the egg whites now all shaped. So what we're going to do now is put it on a soft poach, and then we'll come back again afterwards um, where I take them out, cool them down, and then I'll plate up for you. So as you can see, we've got the water simmering away there and we have the egg whites that are all on the piece of paper. So what we're going to do is we pick up the paper and we gently just drop this into the water, one end to the other, so the egg whites then falls off. I'm only going to do three at a time because what happens when you cook them is the obviously the egg, the all the air inside the egg will puff up a little bit and obviously you don't want to make it so tight that they all stick together. Okay, so just a gen gentle poach. Don't overcook them because what you're going to do then is all the egg, all the air will then pop out of it and you'll be left with nothing left. So I say, just a, a gentle, gentle simmer. Keep them, keep them all going like this. And then say, just turn them gently like this, just so all the outside is then cooked. So you say you've got the three sides once that's done, they're quite cool already, but you can put them in the fridge, but be very careful because obviously if you store them in the fridge too long, what will happen obviously is the air will come out of the meringue again and they'll drop. Uh, with Also with the moisture will break down the sugar in it. Okay, so we'll pause it there and then we'll go on to the plate up. Okay, so there we go. So they're all poached off. They've all gone back down to the normal size after expanding. And as I say, I've just let them cool slightly. The custard's still in the fridge cooling down and we'll get over on plating up and, and then showing you how it can be plated. I'm gonna present it in four different ways. Originally it should be on a, in a glass because then obviously, then you've got the, the custard then and then the egg white will then obviously float on top of that. Um, but I'm, I quite like it on a plate as well. So I'm, I'll do it both ways and I'll let you decide. Okay. And I'm going to present in this one, I'll do the others and I'll show you right at the end how it's, how it's all comes together and the different styles of presentation. Okay, so first of all, a little bit of your cold anglaise in the bottom. Then take a spoon and then what you need to do there, say gently, gently, gently pick up one of the nice poached egg whites that you have, place that one on the top and then as I say just decorate as you wish. The classic is with um, a nougatine and you sort of just sprinkle that around everywhere. But as I say the fact that I have all these beautiful mint flowers etc out in the garden as well I thought it would be quite nice to use those and some lemon verbena. What I'll do with the lemon verbena is I'll just pluck the little bits and just sprinkle that over the top. A little bit of um, lemon zest. And last of all, as I say, just to make it my own, I'm going to drizzle over a tiny little bit of lemon curd, which has just been thinned down a little bit. Okay, so there we have it. So there we go. So there's some very nice examples of some Il Flantons. Um, as I say, a classic Escoffier dishes with my own interpretation, bringing into the evolution of dishes. So now let's see your creations. If you want to take some pictures, put it on Instagram at the Springboard Charity um, and then tag them using FC Summer Kitchen. Uh, with a hashtag obviously um, then if you want to know more and obviously have a look at the Springboard website Springboard's Future Chef and hope to see you all in the final thank you very much for watching bye bye